Hi guys, Miss Schmid and Mr. Skeleton here. Today we are going to learn how to draw a skeleton. And Mr. Skeleton is going to help us look at the bones and learn our anatomy. So let's get going. Because I'm at home, I don't have all of my resources that I have in my classroom, but I found my little decoration, and he's a pretty good example of what a skeleton looks like, and plus he's really fun to play with. But Today, we are going to try our best to draw a more realistic skeleton right here. Uh, let's compare the differences. So, this one, we want to look at how long he is. Don't forget that he has joints. He has his vertebrae. And his skull. We also have hips. It's called the pelvis. And we have our knees and our ankles and our feet. So there are a lot of joints that help us move. Our skeleton is essentially our armature and the armature is what we use underneath a sculpture to help our sculpture stay up and that's exactly what our skeleton does for our bodies it helps to hold everything in place so when we understand how the skeleton is put together then we will better be able to draw a human figure My little guy here is a skeleton, but he is not exactly in proportion. Remember, proportion is the size relationships between different parts of a body or a thing. So he, this little guy, only has one bone here in the forearm rather than the two that are naturally in our forearm, this part of our body. So, but what I like about this little guy is you can kind of see a general shape, although it's not realistic, of what bones look like. You can see here that this part, it looks like a little bit like a dog bone, what you would give your dog. And in, and in fact, the dog bones are very much exactly that. They are bones that are from animals, and you can buy them in the store. So if you have a dog bone laying around, you can look at your dog bone but and draw from it. But we are going to first thing, we are going to draw one of these bones so we get a better idea of what that is going to look like when we start putting it onto our uh, onto our skeleton that we're going to draw. So I'm going to start you off with I since we're all at home, we don't have all the materials that we have in the art room. And that is okay. Remember, this is just practice. It does not have to be exactly real. It's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. We are learning. So, you can use any paper you might have laying around and any kind of pencil that you might have laying around. You can even use, if you only have lined paper, you can even use your lined paper at home. 
I do have a lot of paper here at home because I do draw a lot on my own and paint. So I have accumulated a lot of artwork uh, and art supplies. So here I have, it's called an HB2, just a regular old pencil though. And it has an eraser. It's a white eraser. There are some pencils that don't have any eraser. And in that case, you would use one extra eraser. And I prefer to use a white eraser. They don't leave marks when I erase. That's why in my classroom, I only have white erasers. The pink ones tend to leave a mark on the paper. So, but if all you have is a pink eraser, then that's okay. Use that or you can be challenged and not use one at all. Like I like to have you do sometimes. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with our head. We're going to go to the top of the paper and we're going to draw a oval right here. So I'm going to start up here with my oval. And there we go. Now, if you remember back to our pop people, we did the same thing and we're going to go around, go about the same way of making our pop people. So I have, I got to make my straight line down the middle. Now it looks like our balloon, our head and our spine are right here. And then at the end of our balloon, instead of just making a little dot, now we are going to make two circles, small circles at the end. These are gonna be part of our hips. So then I'm gonna put a dot on both sides because that's where my femur is actually going to be attached into my pelvis. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna put a dot, that's my knee, because we have to have our joints and then I'm gonna come straight down and this length and this length should be about the same. And then I'm gonna put another dot where my ankle is going to be. All right, so now I have one side and I'm gonna match it with the other. Now in my drawing, one foot comes in front so you can see a little bit more of the bones. You can do that if you like. I'm gonna put a dot and then bring that out at an angle like he's standing. Now I'm gonna come here to the head and right underneath, remember how we always use our finger to measure the neck because we have to have a neck or we can't move our head. I'm gonna bring this line out and bring this line out. Now, we are going to make an oval shape for the body. We're gonna come out, it's gonna be like a big U coming down almost to the belly button. So it can be a U shape. Here are my shoulders, here. Does anyone remember what this is called? This is called your clavicle, your clavicle. And that's just what we made. It's one of our bones. All right, now we're going to head down over to our elbows and then down our arms. Now, one thing I like to show you is that how low our elbows actually go. Can you see that? Our elbows come down almost to our belly buttons. And if you put your arm down to your side and measure across, you are gonna hit your belly button right there. So uh, 
that's how far we're going to go. We're going to look right here and see, well, I guess maybe my belly button's about here. So if I measure across, remember that little dotted line is our invisible line. We're going to erase it so don't make it so dark. And I'm going to come down, and that's where my elbow is going to be. Now I'm going to come another length. It should be about the same. Because if you put your arm up and you touch your shoulder, your hand will actually come maybe even above that. So you have to measure it. This is part of the proportion. And I like to use my pencil sometimes to measure about the right size. And if you stand up and you put your hands down, then you're going to see that your hand is actually down to about midway of your thigh, midway of your femur. See here, midway of your femur. So now we're going to do the other side, the same. This is just our stick person right now. We can come down about the same length where our elbow is. Remember when Miss Schmid broke her elbow? Very painful, still hurts. And I'm gonna put my skeleton fingers here. I didn't quite finish this side. You might not see everyone, every single finger depending on the length of the finger. So now I have my basic structure, my basic stick person, except that we've added our joints because that's how we move. And we have our hips, our pelvis. So let's go into detail over here with the head. I'm going to come right here. And we're going to draw our head. So we have the top, our skull, our skull. We have the top of our skull. And now I'm going to come a little bit inside with a smaller U. I can use my eraser now and erase the sides. There you go. Now we have a more skull like shape. Now remember inside our skull we have these where our eyes go they're called orbits. They are big and they hold our eyes inside. Oh a little too big. See how they touch? I think that's a little bit too close because we need to be able to have our nose in between our eyes. So maybe a little bit smaller on both sides. There we go. That's a little bit better. Remember, it's okay to make a mistake. Now, it's going to be like the letter A and then a W. It's actually an upside down heart. And that's our nose hole. That's how we breathe. It goes in through there. And we can give them a little smile. Remember, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, and that's okay. So here we are. We have our spine, and our spine has vertebrae. So I can come on either side of that balloon, and we can just put lines all the way down. All the way down, all the way down, and we can add in our vertebrae all the way down. Again, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have to erase everything. Now, let's practice what a bone looks like. I'm going to move over here. So let's get this general shape of the bone. We're going to look at my, my little de decoration skeleton at his bones. 
and they made them very bone-like. They're not necessarily exactly like that. There's lots of contours, but that's okay. And we're gonna do two parallel lines going straight down. And then we're gonna put a W and then an M. And there you go, you have your basic bone shape. We can always change it up a little bit if we need to. All right, back over to Mr. Mr. Skeleton over here. Now, we're gonna go up here to our humorous. It's a very funny humorous because I know when I hit my elbow, it is not funny at all. So I am going to make my M shape up here. This is where it's going into my clavicle and I'm going straight down and I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make them a little more smaller here and that's how I have this. When I get to this, if I want to, I can gently erase inside. And we're going to go over here. I'm going to pull the camera back. This is my first attempt at learning, guys. I have never filmed like this before. So I am learning as I am going. And let me tell you, it's really hard to talk and not take a break. Although I know you're used to it. So now down here in our forearm, we have our uh, radius and ulna. So our radius is actually connects up into our thumb. And when you turn, it radiates, it radiates. So there's actually two bones here where this little guy, my, my decoration skeleton, only has one. Mr. Skeleton over here, he has two. This is the radius, oops, this is the radius, and this is the ulna. And you can see this bone shape. Now, if you don't have a skeleton at home, it is okay. Um, you can actually look online if you want for skeletons and see the shapes if you want to look at them more closely. Here are all our vertebrae. And we're going to get to our rib cage here in a minute. So here we go. And our hands two are all bones. That's how we can grab things because of our bones and our joints. So coming back over here now, I am going to, if you put your hand out like this, then your radius is always going to be with your thumb. So I know if I put it out, my thumb is going to be out on this side and the radius is going to connect into it. So there, I've already made one bone, just like that, just by putting a parallel line next to it. I've got to make my wrist. And I'm gonna add a second one. This is the ulna onto it. There's a little bit, looks like he has a broken arm. Straighten it up. And there's a lot of little bones in your hands. In fact, your hands and your feet have more bones than the rest of your body. So uh, we're gonna work on our fingers now. I, again, I'm gonna bring over Mr. Skeleton so you can sit here with me and help be my model. So he has, let's count, one, two, three parts of his of his fingers. Here's his, is that his thumb? That's his thumb. One, 
two, three. So he has two joints. One, two, three, four. The others have four, it appears. Plus all these little, little bones to right down here. I need to get Mr. Skeleton a chair so he can join me.